Hey guys, it's Vmasters Reactions, and we're back with episode 54, Well Beneath Talks Machina. We just finished it last night, the live stream, one of the shortest we've ever done. The first time in two months, we did not hit the 50 likes. We were a couple away. I think we were like four likes away. I did throw a like or two in there myself because I liked it for my own account, and I went on another account to add my own two likes to try to boost it a little. And then I know other people have multiple accounts and stuff. So I like to keep rules rules. We didn't hit 50 likes, but we got the consolation prize of watching the Sideshow video a bunch of times where they introduced all their character statues from Sideshow, which I have Ford and Bo you guys have seen. See Ford poking out over there behind me. The episode was great. It was quick. It was barely an hour. From the break to the end, I think it was an hour and five minutes. So being as it was already short, it really didn't give us the time we usually have to build to the 50 likes. I honestly think if it was another 20 minutes longer, we probably would have hit 50. I also was extremely tired, and I also thought it might be nice for us to have a part one and a two this week. If we did it, the first 30 minutes, we wouldn't have a part two again this week. Either way, let's jump into this. We saw what happened. We got the incubus and the succubus, and then at the end, Not was running away. I don't know what's going to happen. Let's find out. You guys want to see more of what I do? Full unedited episodes, all the shows on the channel, seasons out of what you're seeing, hundreds of exclusives you only see on Patreon. The link is in the description below. Patreon hour exclusive, every episode of Campaign 2, all of Legend of Vox Machina Season 1 and 2, hundreds of other shows. Peaky Blinders, Doctor Who, Person of Interest. We started Torchwood, Farscape, Lex, so many other shows. Check it out. If not, Talks Machina, Episode 54. Also, if you missed the live stream, new Caduceus shirt. It mm. just was really cool. Got a lot of emails. Oh, that's loud. Sorry. We're I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> so stupid. Every Tuesday night, I check my email during that break. Just check that? check oh, out my shirt. Oh, oh. I was about to it's comment really, on it. Uh, Dark so Horse nice. Comics, so, my God. I don't know if you guys got a chance to see Old the Star Wars Dark Comics, Horse Comics promo, but... I didn't know if it was too shameless. What was the name of it? It's not too was shameless. It it's just something we made oh, for the channel. Something with Empire. That is, um, I used to it, get it's the on our old website, school Star Wars. And it's on our Twitter. <laughs> Dark Horse The Comics. Dark Horse promo starring Max James <laughs> as the Dark Horse. There we go. Yes. Um, oh. Fewer things that we have made at this channel have I been more proud of. I that. wore it in the live stream um, for the first we've time. As yesterday. always, that and the Yeehaw Game Yeehaw Rail. It's, it's just, as it always, really Marisha and I write these promos that. five minutes before we have to shoot them. Uh huh. Because someone comes in and goes, uh, What are we doing today? Oh, we're shooting that promo. Oh, that's oh, right. Shit. You better write that promo <laughs> we're about to shoot. And then we wrote that one and the uh, Game Ranch one. See, in my mind, you guys are locked in a room and someone just dumps a box of and like, we got Marisha and Travis. Pixie sticks on the I didn't even acknowledge it. I didn't even guess. And then write that crap. It's. Ford and Bo. Too far I like it. Off. Mm -hmm. That's why we go through so many fruit snacks. Yeah, there's That's a lot of fruit snacks. We never go through a lot of, of fruit yes. snacks. Yes. We are fruit keeping snacks. them we get, in business. We are keeping, we are keeping fucking keeping Welch's fruit in snacks Welch's in business. Snacks. <laughs> That is the sponsored snack. Yeah, we are. It's been it's CRC been known for a while. We are in the pocket of big fruit snack. Yeah, we are in the pocket. Yeah. Uh, we have some of critical stats for this episode. That's what he's joking on. In uh, case the you episode have 54. No idea what the hell he's about. It's been 117 days. 178 and 38 days. episodes since Bo last trained directly with Don. Oh, in real time. Correct. In game time. I game, think. time. game time. Real game time. 117 oh. days. Oh. Yeah. Time's gone by. And that's why it's, you know, she's been a little rusty. It's just not Bo's fault. Yep, it sounds like an excuse to me. <laughs> uh, Bo has used 132 key points. 132 oh. key, we're getting so Bo's So how many stats. do you have right now? Eight. Eight at level eight? Yeah, you get one per one monk level. Per monk level as you go up. Eight for There level is some eight. crazy shit you can do. I was reading I was through say, so night at on high DVD levels, and there's some you'd crazy have, is it capped off yeah. somewhere? Yeah. Or at level like 15, that, you'd like, have 15 the way points, the open hand key points. Class. Uh, it's tell nuts. me, I don't know. Oh, didn't That's, Matt just release something too? Yes, he updated the Cobalt Soul class That's a right. little bit and kind of rearrange some of the abilities. Go to so, Matt's Twitter if you haven't seen that yet. Yeah, the ability yeah. that I had where I can spin a key point to get an additional reaction per turn, he bumped. So I've temporarily lost that until level like 11, I think. Oh, now. Thanks, he Matt. bumped and, to a higher level. Oh. But now it's I get, too good. oh, if someone misses me with an that attack, level. I can use my reaction to retaliate Legit. with an unhanded Counter -attack. Counter -attack. strike. Sick. Yeah. Should Can't you be wait. fighting cool. one of us like once a day, just before you go to bed? Yes. Mm, she fights herself every day. It's oh, fine. boy. Oh, listen you to this. Inter-turmoil. I mean, 
Uh, Ford mm. played so br brilliantly this campaign by you, Travis. Thanks, this campaign. Ford has cast Misty Step 11 times <laughs> via the summer's dance falchion. <laughs> falchion. He says falchion around the office. Falchion. falchion. You also do not Foul need to shout chin. Eldridge Blast from the bathroom every time you pee. First time, we I've said this before, so but every time over. I see Falchion, know that I'm I don't know what it is. Certain moments uh, of your life just Marisha, jump out at you for the yeah. weirdest reasons. Let's get started with the show. It immediately okay. brings me with back to from old Kenny school Linden. Final Fantasy. Because that is the first Kenny time Al. in like If you managed to beat Dyron, she would have been swords. revealed. I'm pretty sure it was one of the early Final Fantasy. And her life would have been in great danger. Is Bo and I remember being like, that's such a cool sounding word. Yes. So whenever I hear it for the rest of my life, to the day I die, I think of Final Fantasy. Bo feels pretty good And it might not even be Final Fantasy. It was definitely that NES Super Nintendo fighting game. In the Four Corners, her and Jester both. We did pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Not a fighting game. She didn't win, but as soon as Dyron dropped that disguise, it was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah. think we're fighting that whole tavern if you knock her unconscious? A hundred percent. I think so. She, I mean, she is a wanted member of the Empire in the middle of a bar filled with mercenary beast people. Sounds yeah. like an ideal place to be. Yeah. Uh, mm. I think it would have gone very bad. I, either we would have been fighting the bar. <laughs> I think so too. Or they would have been but dragging her it. off and we would have had the two people to down. rescue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, Yikes. I mean, it would have been very, yeah, it would have quite the at the very yeah, least been a little chaotic. Travis. Yes. Drowsy Draws wants to know. Drowsy Good draws. time to draw. Mm -hmm. Ford has expressed Drowsy a lot of interest draws. in Caduceus's relationship with the Wild Mother. Is he simply trying to develop a sense of how to engage with the greater being, or is he considering reaching out to her or another deity himself? Oh, great question. Drowsy draws. Yes, Drowsy that, draws. Yeah, That's a, another that, yes to long both one. of those things. In a, depth. Um, trying to figure out how uh, someone else can commune with a higher power, since it just seems to be a one way, one way road for Ford. I mean, and it's two, very um, if he's going to subvert or find some way to get around this sort of, uh, this pact, Is this obligation, yet? then it, it, it seems to make sense that you would need to enlist the what help of somebody equally to? as powerful, Marisha maybe to shirt. offset I don't, I don't some of the it. risk or closure a little bit. Um, and he has no idea, neither do I, of who those deities are. Yeah. I, I don't read ahead, I, I don't study up as much as I should, um, but I also don't want to because that's, Less chance of like metagaming, and, and I like the surprise, right? Yeah. So I don't I, not Read knowing what ahead. Well, like we I don't dive into the player's handbook or, or any other sources that really give uh, a background Matt into who the deities are, who was opposite out sides of like, yeah, you know what struggle or who might help in that dude. regard. Oh, you know? I see. Yeah. So I mean, I've had ideas like, do I take a class and I honestly you know, would not have noticed that. Else and do big, had no one said anything, you know, no it was something I wouldn't have really so I like it noticed. When I see someone else. I get like, what Caduceus people are saying, and obviously their, you know, it was and, noticed. You know, maybe there's something to be gained from that. Maybe I can be like, hey, put in a, put in a good word with the wild mother. Yeah. You know? Is there a wait list? Yeah. yeah. A wait list. <laughs> can you, can yeah. you me bump me into the front of the, you know? Yeah. Is it collect? With how Is busy the weeks are, how often do you guys, Thursday to Thursday, how often are you able to like, go into your sheet and like look at everything, look everything over, look look at your notes from the last session, you know, because you guys have said before on this show dozens of times you don't, you mm -hmm. obviously none of us have time, you guys don't have time we to have watch no the time. show back we each week. The bathroom's it. good for that. Uh, I know yeah. that Liam literally sits down I'm, and like good now, listens so to Critical Recap. <laughs> yeah. I've, yeah. Seen yeah. Him, I've seen him do that before, That's it makes smart. me happy. Like Danny's godsend around here <laughs> in many yeah, no, ways. Yeah, that's, I mean, seriously, you are the living encyclopedia that we can turn yeah. to if Matt's not like around. Um, um, I, I try to go through my notes yeah. and clean them Beautiful. up and get like a refresher. And luckily I don't have the problem being a monk that I had with Keelan. Being a monk, so that's the Caduceus. Um, all my all you know, the spells. It, sure. Yes, there's all the spells in history that have ever been made. Well, You're also a really good oh, note taker. Shit. Like you, the you sleeves get are that always stuff long down. These it depends on the shirts. week, right? There are some days where we come in right before the game on Thursday and we're like, what the find. fuck happened last week? Because <laughs> we haven't, yeah, we haven't no ta idea. thought or talked about it at all. And yeah. sometimes uh, there's text threads yeah. in there. We're planning and Yoink. plotting and we're watching the episodes back. Because sometimes when you're staring Mercer yeah, dead in the go. eye in the middle of a moment, you're catching like 45% of that shit. Because <laughs> that gaze 
this for real. Well, and you're also thinking about how what he's saying, saying is impacting you, so what of it you feel like you really need to, to remember for the bigger storyline mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. And then yeah. as a DM, it's hard because you don't want to like put too much out at once because then I it's like overwhelming and people don't remember drink. stuff and you no get mad at them today. and then you have to kill them. We're doing the no cheat day. <laughs> only only <laughs> Friday's right. cheat day. Live stream, Specific. Friday yeah. cheat day. Miss Sunflower 94 has Otherwise a we're behaving <laughs> so we could get back Looking into you, Del. shape. How does, Sunflower. you guys think, okay, Jay's so here, let me let you in on something. You guys think, you know, Wilfred is such a nice guy, so great. He must be just the best person to have in your D&D game. Sugar he model. talks a lot of shit, man. <laughs> He's a real shit talker. I'm keep doing it. I'm high as hell and I'm but a great player, game. though. He's smart. He's <laughs> fucking real smart. smart. We have to, we have to, there has been so many battle plans we've made up where I'm like, Will's going to see through this like that. Yep. He read some book where they explained it. Yeah. He got it from like his brother-in-law where he went, it was like medieval battle techniques yes. and, and theories and he read the whole thing just so he'd be better, at, not, not maybe not just so he'd be better at D&D, &D, but Watch I think it. that was part of what he said Cheers. to me. Well, he did that with Cash, remember? He came yep. in and yeah. he was with us for yep. like 20 minutes and he's like, you guys all suck at this. And we're like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, all right. You're right, you're, you're, you're correct. Sorry, you are talking about, I, I couldn't think of it for a second. Over here. He's the, he's the about riddle, boy riddle crusher, right? If he makes a riddle and they're like, let them chew on this for 10 minutes, he's like, I figured it out. his name? Yeah. yeah. Yep. They said it probably five Bastard. times. I apologize. Mauritius. It's, yes. Will, it's Eric. He's from Eric. Will I said he's not Will. He's Eric. Will genius and lack of good looks with. <laughs> I thought it was free. <laughs> this question from Miss Sunflower ninety four. How does Bo feel about being told that her good work should go unnoticed after spending a lot of her childhood feeling unseen? Does that outlook help or hurt? I mean, it was a, a reality slap to. Bo, which is great and is kind of what I've been slap, I've been waiting Hulk as a player smash. for her to kind of have in game and sometimes it takes a mentor and someone you know it, sometimes it Hi, takes everybody. those simple yeah, things to I'm realize right. that maybe you're being a petty and petulant child about things yeah um, <laughs> and being like mm, I'm doing everything for the att like it is inherently flawed uh, <laughs> To be like, watch me, Ms. watch Sunflower me do these good things. Before, Everybody, watch me. Yeah. I feel like I recognize um, that name. So yeah, I, I think it. Her look just. What I can do. Look, look at, look at oh all this. Oh my God, old school man uh, TV. That yeah, is the that's third time. She this just week. needed somebody to tell man her like, come up. Why, like, an Artie Lang thing came up. Is that then why I you're doing it for Bill attention? Bill Sasso yeah. in something. Um. And then Bobby and Lee was maybe there was just like voice in the back of Bo's head that was like. The History of the World Part 2, I just finished it last turn. night. And then Bobby she Lee's in one of the episodes. Right. And then moves all on. three yeah, ex Man TV members. Now. And that was Stuart. <laughs> that's the fourth one. For that was the fourth Man TV sure. this week. I mean, that's why I spend two hours was on my Stuart. hair every morning. <laughs> two hours? McDonald was the actual name, I think. Jerry, I can't remember his name, but it's something brought today. Yo, Brian McDonald. Doing the God's work. That's a deeper cut than the rest. still here, Max? Artie grew up in New Jersey where I live. So Artie Lang is like a New Jersey legend. <laughs> Most unenthusiastic. <laughs> yeah. Some days I wonder. They moved the keg around. I Am I crazy? Max wants to be I here. swear the keg has moved around from oh, time to time. Are Not you just okay, man? Since the new be. studio. Did you stay out raving? I feel like time? since they did the new studio. He, was I mean, all, he had the graveyard sense. shift, right? Yeah. Uh, the, the cop. Yeah, he yeah. sure did. His other job. Um, Travis. <laughs> yes. Chris Gate Gatlin wants to know. We know Ford is an orphan. Chris Gatlin Seeing too. other orcs, does he have any desire to connect with that culture? Like or does he identify more with humans? This happens in a lot of shows I yeah, watch. Pure panic. Where a lot of the Every same time people. Every time he sees orcs, I remember early in the campaign through. there was an orc. Now is it because that, they like, establish a relationship? I was like, I'm going to stay Are they out always here. asking so to good questions? Converse and so or is it just a lack the two walked of up in the, the middle of the square? I was more concerned with. I'm just curious. Making sure that Caleb was okay and then he was just fine all by himself. You know, doubled in size, just kind of played it off, but. Um, yeah, guys, in case to uh, me, you didn't hear me before. Uh, there's almost like a false Fridays, expectation with Ford. I think he wants ton. to sit down and have a and drink got, with an like, orc really good stuff and be like, tell time. me so about I'm, you. I'm like, so tell, yeah, yeah, like, tell, like, tell me what you what you do. Are the rumors I'm true? Like, do you, yeah, do, you, do you sack towns and villages and ruin people's lives? And is that because that's what everybody does? Or is it just in your blood and that's what you want to do? And I'm sure that, especially after that conversation and 
them being so light smell. Yeah, like they're like, oh god, these guys aren't conversationalists. What the fuck? Yeah, the stupidest expectation ever. Coffee. Yeah. They'd be like, what? I go to a lounge. Yeah. So that that changes a little bit. I thought be there might be loud. a little bit more past this. Like you're a you're a tiny one, and I was like, oh fuck, yeah. you know? So yeah, I think he's, I was in the pool. I was in yeah. the pool. <laughs> I felt rough. Um, yeah, I think there's that just a little bit of wanting to like know more about that part of himself. I'm always he, he, curious when, when there's a reference I don't know so. because yeah, they're one, kind of my like, age. They reference a lot of the same <laughs> stuff I yeah, can I, know can I, and I reference. Know. Okay. Yeah. So when there's something I don't know, I'm like, yeah. hey, no, I'm missing out on something. I was going to ask you something earlier and I forgot. I'd probably <laughs> transition to a great joke or something instead. Um, <laughs> thinking out loud. Thinking out loud. Does part of Bo. <laughs> Respect when I someone calls her out. I wanted to ask you something, 100%. but probably transition to a great yeah. joke. Yeah. yeah, she she needs that. Like she she's kind of a bully, you know. And I think she's gonna get, and she knows it. So she's gonna respect people if they like push back a little bit. Respect. Yeah. Um, yeah. She's just one of those people. The only way you're gonna get her attention is by. Yeah. You know, getting her attention. Getting right. her attention. Yeah. And that's I'm not saying that's healthy. I like. The the eye makeup. The actions that you guys are doing are not. She, but her yeah. eye makeup no matches her hair so if well. You guys, I mean, we've had this conversation it, about it, the difference between Vox luck. Machina and the Mighty Nine Two is like those typical sort of archetype characters, and then it's it, weird because the hair is like different shades. And it looks direction like her eye like makeup yeah. does mm -hmm. what the hair does. Well, I mean, half of fleshing out a character. I don't know I mean, if that was hard or it just kind of worked, but it's just throwing pasta at the wall and seeing Travis if it was too, the absolute great. wrong thing to do. And if you live, you're like, okay, maybe I do it differently next time. Yeah. Why would you want to do things correctly or or properly from the get go? I mean, yeah. that's just yeah. safe. Like, you know, yeah. you got to see what those boundaries are. Just like any kid, adolescent, whatever, 100%. you know, yeah. That is not my thought process on anything at all. I'm really? like, I have to be perfect immediately. No. I have to do it exactly right from the very first time. See, that might be life, but that's what this is for, I feel I like. I can see Danny being, being that kind of person. Danny, it's, it's really? It's killing me Danny playing Danny a druid right now. appears to like me to be the type of like person that is because I don't very know how to play yeah. a druid. Organized. And I'm just like, and like should've just fucking played a cleric. Uh, in a good just way, positive I've played a cleric a million times. I'm really good at playing a cleric. I just see her being that type of person, almost to the point of having anxiety. She looks like she's very... Well, yeah, like you said, like anxious person, one D&D teaches you about yourself, I'm very two, it teaches you about other like people I, and how I they think when you just, you know, it's as trite as experience. it is, that old adage of you don't really know somebody until you walk a thousand miles in their shoes. Totally. It's kind of true, and that's kind of what you do with D&D is like. One of my favorite songs from the I mean, Taliesin talks so, about it all so the time. So many of the personality traits we pull from are influenced from people from a movie in our real Benny lives or people that you've known before. Um, One of the few I didn't like movies people like coming Keyleth around through my until, lifetime that I've never seen. I didn't understand them as much until I was Keyleth. For yeah. I always I remember the trailer when I was a kid. Oh, but it was like a years. love story. Happy birthday, by the way. And I didn't get it or something. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah man. Four it was before ago, Johnny Depp was like a big yeah. household thing. Yeah. premiered. Dude, yeah, it's yeah. four years ago. Holy Cheers. crap. Is that right? Cheers. Four years ago. Wow. Cheers. Man. A lot has happened. Years, sitting in my sitting in my house in my house in Memphis watching you guys or fuck on my computer. Yeah, that sounds right. That the sounds funny thing right. is, I just celebrated four years, years in January. A comic. It's mm, the beginning of March. Working on an animated I'm show. Gonna make some and a week I'm gonna ago, make some tunes it was four years I've That's been crazy. on YouTube. Four years. Our books. It went by so they fast. Grew it went by so fast. Quite fast. It feels like we still just got started. I don't eating. quite have one the day. Sort of really eating thing. back then. No, no idea. The girl crew. Too much eating. Lots of crunchies. You mean on the show? Yes. There's too much. Crunchies. Oh, we have Too like whole crunchies. plates of fried chicken. Yeah, and I don't fries want to deal with that. Yeah. I don't want, cream, want Travis right. licking By each the way, one of his I'm individual curious to see how fingers this ends. like it was this Hannibal Lecter with the delicious hand Machina. of like I, I some still, we haven't gotten I still do it. I got into a big chicken burrito in the other several day. Episodes, and I regret at least two I that I can remember. Like, we went into a one shot QA with no goodbye. Brian's just like, ready? We're going to go now. When you don't have time to eat sometimes. And I'm curious. Think before you start. This is another short one. I've been saying it for years. I refuse. Without. Yes. Cobalt lesbian. And after dark, oh, there's oh. A, you're not gonna believe about this. Has a question hour. for you. Mm -hmm. There's like about an hour Bo's with you <laughs> from here to Bo's the very, very end. So if there's no after about hour, her relationship with Dyron and sure. how 
them leaving affected her. We got that. Byron appears to be Cobalt the only authority skin. figure that she has hey. deep respect for. Why is that? That's different, right? Um. The only authority figure she has deep respect for. I, uh, uh, she was the first authority figure who didn't kind of give up on Bo and kind of like toss her to the side and think that she was too did Danny difficult just go, oh, to work, uh, be worth investing time into. If she did. So yeah, she definitely has a deep connection, but I mean, Bo also deals with abandonment issues from her parents giving, like <laughs> tossing her over to the, to the monks and yeah. kind of giving up on her. So yeah, I mean, it's a little abandonment issues coming through. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm dying to get some more of that. I'm yeah, trying to get some seriously. more of that bow backstory. There's some, I feel like. Surfaces only. Yeah, yeah we're, we have not gotten There's enough. a couple of stories we're lacking there, now. We've already found cool. a great deal about Ford. <laughs> Even insane. though there's a lot of Are things really I still have questions about. Nah. Not very answered. Nah. Nah. I feel like right now, Caleb and Bo are the most <laughs> interesting no, to me. I've, but I've Yasha been saying it for years. Me? Yeah, I've been saying it for three years. It's going to be serious. Hold on. But do I, sound I mean, evil? Ashley Johnson That's hasn't been around to like really. Ukatoa. Do I sound yeah, evil? Fish it out. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Turns out, Bo, Ukatoa the whole time. Oh shit. Shit. Bo Katoa. Bo Katoa. Bo Katoa. Bo Katoa. Uh, Bo Katoa. Yeah. Either that or it sounds like a martial like arts. Baritone? Yeah, Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Bo Katan. It sounds like Bo Katan yeah, from Star Wars. Yep. Way down, in, <laughs> yep. way down in Bo Kamo. The next Bo-Kamo. fire festival is in Bo I think it sounds like a uh, martial arts discipline. <laughs> Bo Katoa. I'm going to Google that and it's going to actually be a nope. place. I'm going to get home and the Bo Katoa fire festival is going to be trending on Twitter with <laughs> fan art of people in tents. Bo Katoa fire island. And cheese sandwiches. Yep. <laughs> Jamiroquai is going to perform. Oh, my God. So Jamiroquai. Hey, guys. Virtual insanity. Otter if you don't know Owl what that is, go, go watch 2013 wants to know. And how dare Travis. you for not yes. knowing How does Ford feel in the City insanity. of Beasts? Are there it's parts of him that feel more or less comfortable here compared internet. with the Empire slash the Menage a Trois Coast? Why? <laughs> Menage a Trois Coast. The, the Menage a Trois Coast. Someone get Mercer on the phone. <laughs> That's a great question. It, uh... He feels more comfortable. Apologies. There are less people I was looking. Like, I couldn't I mean, breathe. I'm like, he I have sees to, the like, eyes that are on the group, but the eyes aren't on him. They're on Bo. They're on Caleb. The they're on a little bit coast. on Yasha. I mean, it's it's not him. That's, I dig uh, it. It's a good name. That's the center of focus. It's a good name. So he feels he feels more comfortable. Um, I think he feels out of out of place because we got to be know, doing it's just gift a different of the week, sort so of society. We're approaching gift of the week in the, in the territory, the Empire, but. Callisto, yeah, it's, uh, it's having a warrior weird, uh, weird queen effect, herself, you know? said, you know what I noticed? One that, of her favorite uh, gifts ever. I think he dropped his pan. I think we're getting gifts. We did uh, day after. Could be the moment, moment. Callisto. At the, uh, <laughs> you you like to put one of your feet on top of the oh, other. I so rank them. You guys know me. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Does it make my top ten? Callisto's very fond of it, so it's got to be like top ten. Opposed to do. Does does your bottom foot? Start hurting after you know a while. Like, or you know, like some asleep. people, like they like to hug. I used to stand up sitting. Uh, I like exactly to make sure that said. my feet. Know I used where to do each that. I remember <laughs> specifically. Yeah, I used to sit like that a lot when is. I would play video games. I would have like one of those it, 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 oval it's not, shaped after chairs so where it's like almost like a bucket you're in, and I would always do that, and it eventually would pain me so much that I haven't sat like that. You are looking like this is like you can see up whatever skirt. I am wearing. Oh, like, I sit I can't very sit logically like now like, because I do a lot of. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is a man spreading issue. Physically, I know, in I know, my job, I know where like everything that. is in this position. And I have to right? oh God, not be sore and in pain Zach, and bruised up. Um, it's time for gift of the week. Gift of the week. Here we go. <laughs> gift of the week. Gift of the week. Yes. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. We're time gonna get a photo shoot. Celebrate gifts. Our winner for campaign two, episode fifty-four, was sent in by Carmel. Carmel at <laughs> makes weird art or makes wired art. No, nope, it's weird art. Let's take a look. <laughs> Serious table. Serious table. Party, Party table. table. Oh my no, gosh. Like, oh, Serious God. table. Serious table. Party, Party table. table. <laughs> Party table. <laughs> Tal- oh my god, every table is its own magical mix of talent. Oh, table, it's it's magical. Magical. The clip where she goes for the drink, 
the, <laughs> see, I like that one because when she goes for the drink. I'm lost. pretty sure I've there commented seri- several times like that. How Sam and, 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 and well, and stuff, Jester and not, but Sam and Laura <laughs> are <laughs> always <laughs> goofing <laughs> around and have their own little thing sure, going on. Just, and of the group, sure, besides yeah, 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 them, Talzin seems like he has the most crazy, wild, like personality. Seems to be like the center of most things when we go to events that were saying at Ren Fairs and stuff. Very, very uh, nice. I think it's a great little, bars. little reach out to us bottom row we got. Between the sheets I dig it. And say you want help making cocktails for season two, and I was like, oh god, please. Uh huh. Yeah. And uh, uh-huh. so we flew them out last week, and they were here helping me shoot some stuff, and um, they made drinks for you guys on Thursday night, and they were they were so fantastic. damn good. They even had a little fantastic. main menu for us. For yeah, we, we made a little menu. menu. Uh, we made we named we named all of the drinks. One of them was called oh. one of them was called the Ford Swallower. Instead That's of the right, sword, sword swallow. I like yeah, that. I dig it. Swallow. That's right. It was a little fast swallow. Swallow. So it was, Yeah. <laughs> it was good, just like Ford. Anyway, congrats to you, Carmel. It was good, just like Ford. Or Carmel. I don't know. I give up. Carmel Weird you have this. or Wired. <laughs> Travis says, don't be stupid, Brian. It's freaking <gasps> weird. Really don't be And then Brian yep. cried. I saw The Whispered cried. One T, designed by Lauren Give Ipsum. It up on the Whispered One T. Shop. I talked to you guys about it. Com. This is what I bought oh, instead of that. So good. Now that I think of it. I went Your on to order that, spell. and I'm like, Lord. I gotta get a Caduceus shirt too. <laughs> and I had seen it so many times. I was like, ah, uh, you know what? I've seen it enough times now where I want something original. You and I got, got this because I've Hold never on, seen I got this. An email here from Matt. Dead people you tea, bastard. and I purposely yeah. got pink right. because of Caduceus Tree colors. Geist. And the fact that I have very few pink shirts, I felt it was a good, a good a look to go with. Guys. That's oh, what I said. Considering poultry guys the is related Caduceus. to the I thought it went nice with the gray. Ooh. But is it related to Ario Teabaggin? Ario Teabaggin, my favorite. You Ario guys Teabaggin know. was somebody that's on Reddit, I think. Ario Do you know Ario, Ario, Ario Speedwagon, the band? Yes. yes. It's like that, except, well, I don't want to explain teabagging. Max, <laughs> hey, for both of you. I was going to say, he's Max explaining no. Max Ario says, Speedwagon. I mean, I guess you, you might need the experience to of losing Ario an Speedwagon, if you don't know, mistakes and damage was a glorious band. And Crucible Grog from, and Four Corners I want to say it started in the 70s. Do you still kick yourselves when you think of it, or have you accepted it? as creating a better story point. I think it was the 70s. Well, since I didn't Are get my mentor captured Max by the like opposing <laughs> army, mm-hmm. yeah. I appreciate it for the story beats, of course. Of course. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, why the fuck, though? Like, why the fuck? I was My God. rolling the D8s, and then you just start getting yeah, you're caught in the, groove. In the moment, yep. and then you're just grabbing dice. And there's and like a there's going. like a speed element to it. You're like, I'm moving like quick. Is. You don't I'm so like focused. Slow things down. Oh my God, I love it. They're having like their stupid, own little. Stupid, 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 and it's something stupid. so simple. It was just a freak out together. It would have been over so much faster if you'd been doing the D8. Yeah. yeah, that's well, what I mean, you guys told me. Two extra I would have not noticed, potential. obviously, Hindsight but you guys told me all the difference. Bo was yeah. accidentally using the wrong it made for, dice. It made for so I know what they are speaking of because for Grog because he had the rematch. I feel like in the live stream, the you guys told me. Then, and yeah, I that was in the I comments, lost that but I think you guys told me the live sucked even more. Yeah, because you're a mentor. Yeah, my mentor. Holy crap! I thought people said it wouldn't have mattered though. It might have mattered in the sense of I was like what you did or Equally how you reacted to certain dead. things. Yep. But I can't remember. Two, I feel like people said it, it probably she was wouldn't have made a difference. Down, and I went, so I went down. So like, wow, had wow. I gotten her before she hit, but I was at like four or five hit points. So it would have been like, she would have dropped, uh, revealed herself, uh, and Jester and I are bleeding out and then bar fight. Yeah. Okay. Is there like a weird wow. so it would have been bad. you guys have made on the show that you still haven't okay. forgiven yourself for? Oh yes. So it wouldn't Tell have made it maybe it wouldn't it have made an outcome I know, I know, in the, the actual the declared oh, winner I, like, or something. But it would have made hell on earth because she would have been revealed. Is that how I'm gathering? Like it? That, I don't know. It doesn't matter because it didn't that happen. That was tough. You could tell me if you want. <laughs> the cra- the crack and fire was super hard. I know. I know there are ones that if I thought about it, I could remember it, but I've repressed it so deeply and <laughs> solidly. Yeah. yeah. Travis, I remember I did it for like a poor, week, and Laura was finally man. like, "You gotta shut up about that shit." Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, not not that not not that me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, Imagining yeah. Laura getting really pissed. At you. Yeah. There are so many times where you're like, I wish I had just done the. But Laura does other. not like it when people are hard on themselves. Yeah. Yes. 
And I, that's one of the things I love about her is that she yeah. she will actually provide perspective to help you be able to let go and go like, because for you guys, if you make a mistake, the clock sort of resets the next week. You it doesn't you can't you can't dwell on it too much because you have to play again right away. Yeah. yeah. But there's an, that, then there's that other element of the fact that this shit fucking lives on the internet forever, mm -hmm. and yeah. so then you have that to deal with, or you what? get tweets or whatever on else, and it reminds forever. you of it. But this you kind of have to lose forever? it pretty. You kind of have to like. I gotta rethink. Learn to move on quickly, life. right? And accept yeah. it for like what it, what it is, <clears throat> even if it's not going or, or went the way that you wanted it to. It's still an amazing story, maybe with just a different outcome than you were hoping for. Like, uh, uh, for instance, when I used Craven Edge too much and then rolled the 20 and then a one with oh, his right. advantage oh, and, and died. Just dropped dead. Right? Yeah, Brought fuck. me back. Everything's cool. We're going to fight Kevdak, and nobody in the group wants me wants to let me use Craven Edge anymore. And I was like, okay, okay but hold on. Wait, yeah. one more time. Yeah, let me yeah, use yeah. it one <laughs> yeah. more time. And they're like, no. It's bad for you, Grog. And I was like, I love all of you in and out of this game, but I'm gonna kill every one of you if you don't let me use this fucking sword one more time. Yeah. And I yeah. go, right? Yep. It's that sort of shit. And sure enough, outstanding outcome. But in the mm. moment, you're like, I hate my life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I get it. Totally that's good advice for so the folks many. at home. Yeah. But that's yeah. the point yeah. of the right sword. That's right the, that's and the sometimes poison those things of can it. often that you're like become either very rewarding or very funny. No, really, so I just needed this just one last time. Just don't beat yourself up too hard. But then the next time, you're like. If I had that sword, I, that I could do this Splatted. easily. For some and after reason, that, and then you're just going like, to keep making excuses oh, until it consumes you again. And that's kind of the so point. Dumb. There are moments in the nope. show that I, I, you just need to yep. go back. Sometimes you're just like, ah, it's been a tough day. I need to laugh. The cows episode. Yep. The cows. I will watch that cows episode all the because I think like I'm just going to watch part of it. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I got to see the build up. Yeah. I got to see the aftermath. Yeah. See, I've never seen see it. You guys have shown I, I, me clips of it. You guys have from shown me one, which is you are lying. You a thing are of lying. the cows. I have He's seen like, you're a small super part dead. of it. I'm like, you Not the whole episode. Lying. You're lying. I remember. You are lying. He's like, you took 973 <laughs> points of damage. 300 and something. Yeah. It was like 300 and something. I was also like, in that moment, I was like, mm. please. Like, I would have been. We had already so had good. like resurrection fatigue. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Like, yeah. it would have been, been like gray. We had to fight. ridiculous. Yeah. It would have been ridiculous yeah. if Laura well, hadn't had that. If, yeah, that uh, if Vex hadn't had that diamond, that gym or whatever yeah. from Tarion. Oh yeah, because she's. Yeah, like, I have no idea what they're talking about. I have a revivify coin from, from Tarion. Tarion. Yeah, I, I like, think I have a small idea. Could you imagine the the revivify nope. ritual? After that death, like, nope. um, no. so Saren Ray, look. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, She's kind uh, of a, uh, you know. I like got stupid as fuck. We so. could use her, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> she did just jump off a 3,000 foot no. cliff. Please don't ask how she died. And then That's turned into a goldfish. Please don't ask how this happened. Before she hit the water. Why, Why does she deserve to fly? Yeah. All sorts of flying creatures, but I chose a goldfish. And she's from the air. It's funny you know, you can looking just fly. at it when you have we also very little clue what you're talking like, about. I'm going into the water. I'm going to be a fish. <laughs> I mean, this is probably a massive spoiler now that I'm thinking of it. But I honestly am, am struggling to follow because I don't know what the hell they're talking yep. about. Uh, friends of ours, Emily and Murph from College Humor, Emily Axford. Yeah. Yeah. He showed her that clip because she was playing a druid, and her first react. He he showed her, and he was doing the like, the watching her watch it thing, and then I eat it and die, and he's like laughing and looking at it, and she goes, "Why? What? Why? I, that makes total sense to me." There you and go. I was like, "Oh dang! <laughs> yes! Great minds. Uh -huh. so, there are other yeah. goldfish out there. There are other goldfish. <laughs> so, See, I, yeah. are Thanks they saying point. Kayla just died?" <laughs> I don't even know That's where they are. They are right now. It was now. the easiest episode for Max to figure out a pre-show bit for. <laughs> I we am just gonna assume goldfish. whatever and is it's whatever. still alive. Because Marisha. <laughs> I think he's lying. Brian. You what? What? Don't interrupt. If that is <laughs> Nenner B15, I honestly, to know, 
didn't Dyron follow enough Bo of that to uh, uh, know Bo if that is a spoiler. Of. But if it is, was this Bo being why would they talk so deeply about something that's spoilery in the talks Machina for Mighty team. Nine? Either way, no, just, luckily, uh, fucking kinda is they very talk so encrypted and fast that I don't even know what the hell they were talking about. Something about jumping off a cliff and hitting the water, but then they said, don't worry, because Jester or Lori used the thing. salt water on occasion. I don't need to know. So, like, kinda. Yeah. Kinda. I don't. I don't think she thinks at this point that anybody would maliciously f do anything, but maybe <laughs> Ford would. Not commenter. <laughs> well, answer this right, then, Travis, right. from probably shirtless. <laughs> probably shirtless. <laughs> Great. Probably name. shirtless. It's a good, good username right now. <laughs> One thing I have noticed is a sort of tough love embrace to how Ford interrogates people, i.e. not wanting to hurt the bugbear this episode and promising they will be okay, but intimidating the hell out of them. Is this linked to how Vandrin treated Ford or something else entirely? Tell oh, us now, please. Tell us now. Yeah, tell us now, deep please. Cut. It is, so tell us the answer, please. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, that is correct. Yeah, Vandrin sense. would very often say, nobody cares, keep going, right? Like, um... Yeah, the tough love part of it is, is huge, right? Like, you can complain all you want to, but nobody's gonna care about your problems as much as you do. So just pick it up and keep going. Um, I think the intimidation I mean, part is that just is true. that I looked down at Everyone's the character sheet finally one day and saw because of all the things that I had selected. All, he had like plus usually, eight for intimidation. So I was like, I need to start being more of a dick. Yeah. <laughs> to be able to make I mean, sure if you have a job yeah. to do, um, <laughs> you obviously but have to do yeah, your it's, job. It's you also can't just, have it's just kind of what he knows, whether it was with the orphanage or tough love or things that make you money to survive and stuff. And, you know, being like, you can feel sorry you for yourself uh, as long as I you want to. It's just don't want to work back, today. Right? Wow. As soon so as you I'm get just over not that, going. Other you people have to have will some stop thinking about it if you're not. So good life advice too. Yeah, yeah. His foot's on top of the other one. <laughs> yeah, truth, <laughs> truth, right here, boom. <laughs> see it? Well, um, it happens? is. I see it. Before Travis's, both of his feet start falling asleep, and he fan starts doing ungodly things week. with them. My God, that went quick. Let's give away fan art of the week. All right, let's see this one. Dad. Dad. Fan art of the week. <laughs> yeah. This week's fan art winner for campaign two, episode fifty-four, was sent in by Ennis Jackson. Ennis at Drowsy Draws. Oh, hey, really? Drowsy asked Draws. a question earlier too. Yes. Congrats, Ennis. Look at that. Double whammy. Double whammy, <laughs> and you won fan art of the week. Oh, look Ooh. at that style. Oh, oh my one. god, that's like oh old god. school. It's so cute, oh it's everybody. Oh my god. What does that style oh, look like? Oh, it it reminds me kind of so good. Oh, it's just so good. Good. Yeah. 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 Like that back in the day. Oh, look at Ducey. Oh, the point. Oh my what? gosh. Is that Terry down there? That the old school right look. Now? I don't know how else to describe it. With the glass of that wine. Probably like seventies, eighties, early eighties, probably more seventies animated style. Fantastic. Just oh, like REO TV. Yeah. That's what Sam 70. wanted to see. Monster. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everyone who submitted. Congrats to you, Ennis Jackson. You have won this. Spalted Tamarind Tabletop. <laughs> That's hot. Spalted Tamarind. From our friends at Wormwood. With Gaming. that face. Oh, nice. Make sure to check them out. I feel like sometimes Brian's hair you can gets also like, look, sometimes it's perfectly level and sometimes it is. Arcing you know, upwards, you know, almost like Gumby. Art. Like you ever see Gumby? Gifts to submit. How it like? I'm not making fun, <laughs> even though that could be taken that way. I for a contest for available. Like a, a tell me that doesn't have the Gumby slant when he yeah, edges his hat up. Really good. Take a look. Before your days as a bounty hunter, were you also a hand model? Me? The Gumby yeah. slant. Yeah. I'm gonna call it. You know, I could have done some hand modeling, but um, I do moisturize, and I. Uh, I also, Whoa. I don't leave. I wonder I go, if they're going to ask a question the about bed, how it ended. Out. There's got to be, right? Out of, out of the bed? Yeah. There's got to be a question really about how it all ended. We were chasing after Not. Not was in like a full sprint. <laughs> Moving on. And going down the tunnels. <laughs> go buy me a Costco dog afterwards. <laughs> Costco dog. Best hot dogs in the world are at Costco. Oh, actual hot dog. This? Do you yeah. know about this? I Everyone says this. Right? Do you know about this? I know about this. I'm not kidding. Everybody <laughs> at the arcade will go, him. do you need me to go shopping? Like, because I go to Costco all the time for the hot dogs. Say again? Everybody that knows Well, the IKEA meatballs are horse meat. That Costco hot dogs are a thing to get. You didn't hear about that? They found horse meat in the IKEA meatballs. Oh, my. Oh, IKEA. Wow. 
<laughs> really? Wow. <laughs> All of you have Why? to stop. Something tells me we're going to get a package of meatballs sent for Game Ranch in two yeah. weeks. That's terrible. Sorry. I don't know if he condone horse is meat catching meat. himself saying, because you can't eat horses. You make glue out of them, right? Don't tell Biscuit. Sorry, no. Biscuit. <laughs> Ikea Gary was not making happy meatballs out of horse meat. Travis, is that a thing? Like, what? I never heard How that How feel to be on the opposite end of a conversation with a low intelligence character in the form of once that I can remember in my life, and it was great. 20 that was years amazing. Ago. <laughs> it was nice to be the manipulator instead of the manipulated. Yes. <laughs> that was some good stuff. That was good back and forth between you and Matt. He was such a sweetheart. <laughs> I feel yeah. bad for that guy. Get your head back in that window. Oh, and poor guy, we totally gave him blue balls. Yeah. He was getting his like sweet freak sex dream interrupted. <laughs> <laughs> You would have died. Oh, but man. Yeah. everybody. You don't know that. We don't know exactly, no, right, but it, it didn't. Yeah, it's it a didn't look good. We don't know for sure. It wasn't con <laughs> confirmed. <laughs> but I think we saved I don't know his life. That's the takeaway. <laughs> that's the takeaway. Right, take yeah, that's, that's the takeaway. <laughs> look, it's healthy. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. You're right. It's, fat, it's natural. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's healthy don't do and natural. Don't answer this question from I don't know if that's runtime I mean, error. Marisha, depends how you look at it, but let's, let's go with that. And let's looks be up positive to her as a How seriously is she going to take her advice about not getting too attached to people, and how is it going to change the way she interacts with the rest of the Mighty Nine from here right now? Yeah, I was wondering about this because... I that was tough. It was funny. She said that, and I could just hear Sam Regal on the other side of the table going, oh. Oh, yeah, he yeah. just did this little like, oh, and I was like, that's right, feel my pain. Uh -huh. I don't know, man. So I'm packing that one. Yeah. So, when yeah, I see so her shirt, that, I keep thinking of a quick Gladiator. Answer. No quick answer there. It's an interesting it place Are when you not entertained? I know it's not even close, but I feel like medium, it's something he'd the say. The mentor character, you know, you come to a crossroads with that mentor character where they either ask you to do something you don't agree with or you realize that some of their teachings maybe led you down a wrong path or whatever yeah. else. And it's an interesting, I, I love that relationship in storytelling because it provides for so many different twists and turns for that sure. the character and the mentor ultimately can oh, take, right? Sure. For sure. And like, yeah, it kind of teaches you that just because they're your elder or your mentor doesn't mean they're always right. And mm -hmm. Bo kind of got a little crack of that for the first time with Diren when she was talking about, you know, being like kind of bigoted towards the cream and being like, yeah. and I was like, wait, you were the one who told me not to trust yeah. anybody or take mm -hmm. anything for face value. Like that was, that was on the show. That was in her yeah. first training thing. Yeah. And it was like, and now you're telling me that, you know, don't be silly. This is, this is one sided. So that was like her first, like, what? Do what I say, hmm. not what I do. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So, but it, I mean, it hasn't gotten. It's gonna. It's gonna take more. It must have gotten. Or anything like that. Uh, we'll uh, see. Yeah. Mosquito or something. We'll see. My Hopefully, Zyron doesn't so die bad in. That I feel like I'm a in Gortronis. Looking for a fix. Like Matt might be Don't put that out there. Matt might be watching. Sorry, sorry. Don't, don't listen, babe. Travis. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy, what's your this? Ruh, ruh. Uh, uh, oh, oh the name. Baby, you're my only <laughs> bad name, bad name. Kraymet Brevetanarian. Kraymet The last Bre part, probably not right. Er Aaron. Aaron. Oh, Aaron. What did I say? Aaron. Aaron? Kremet. From like Farscape? Kraymet. Is it Aaron? Kraymet. Brexit? Aaron wants to know. Pro oh, R.I.P. Brexit. If Brave Caleb's go-to line Braveton <laughs> Aaron for Ford impersonation Brave is Eldridge Blast, Braveton does that mean Ford is running around yelling it in combat? Braimet. This is I think something it's I lied. Braveton I told them yesterday Aaron, when I saw this. But I have question, no I idea like, unless is that is Aaron Eldridge from Farscape, which I just started around. watching. I'd be sweet impressed because it's yeah, fantasy. Yeah. We're in yeah. sci-fi yeah. fantasy. It doesn't matter realm. if it's a single or a double. <laughs> he is going, Eldridge Blast! <laughs> Eldridge Blast. He is a Dragon Ball Z fan, and that attack cannot be loosed without the proper wordage. Eldridge Blast! <laughs> I just wonder what everybody else is like, yes. what was that? Ignore him, he's just 
blasting again. <laughs> Every six place. seconds, that shit is just coming out like fucking rapid fire. Elders blast. Four, three, three, <laughs> yeah. Elders blast. Okay, porn. We, we got get it. it. We get it. <laughs> it's like bad timing on VO lines. Just to do too many. Just wait until he tries to catch a <laughs> suggestion on yeah. some son of a bitch. He's like suggestion. <laughs> suggestion. <laughs> it doesn't work. She's like, My really? Gosh. <laughs> What's your suggestion? He's like, what do you want? A place to eat? What do you yeah. need? Yeah. Caleb, were we not are saying the spells out loud? Yeah. <laughs> God, remember when you guys were here for the campaign so far episode and Sam said, not thinks if Caleb's the leader, why is this guy talking all the time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the funniest things. Oh man, Marisha. Yeah. I know exactly Joe. What he's talking B about. wants to know. What is more important to Bo? The genuine familial bond she has with the Mighty Nine or making the mentors she respects proud of her, but both th probably think she was denied by her family. Does she hope she can find a way of maybe having both, even if they conflict? Hmm. So that's tough, right? Because... Crossroads. Yeah, that is that crossroads. I dig the question. Yeah. Y yes. I, yes. I was gonna say, I but feel like yes, okay, you'd hope to you find that. Ah, a way to I have mean, both. It's tough. You gotta Someone assume that's Matt what she would like. I don't give a fuck about that goblin's husband. I don't know, his character's probably pretty shallow, right? I do. <laughs> You've had the most time, I would say, to cultivate said backstory because we've delved into yours, I would say, the least out of everybody's. Yeah. Yes. Yasha. Well, we, there's a lot of Yasha. jester to be found still. There's a lot little, of little caduceus. There, yeah. so but we've had of, a I little bit everybody. of jester in the gentleman yeah, stuff. Yeah, I think you know, the Yasha like, thing is the Bowen You've had the most time to prepare, but you still probably don't feel prepared, right? That's what oh, everybody no, seems to tell me. Felt, and I think Caleb, yeah, no. I mean, even yeah, though there's we know definitely been stuff that I've kind of had time to like flush out or like things I still feel like there's a lot of mystery, but I guess we do know a good deal of Caleb. Oh, there's also the truth that like Bo is young. She's a human in her twenties. Um, yeah. I would say we know slightly more oh, so about Bo than we do Yasha. Yeah. Like, uh, like not slightly. Yeah. I feel like but Yasha. Yeah. I think well, they're just we'll not see. counting yeah. Yasha because Ashley lot, Johnson yeah, it is. needs to be around Travis. to fully flush mm -hmm. it out. Cacophonous kazoo. Cacophonous kazoo. Ford acted really decisively mm -hmm. this episode, yeah. interrogating the bugbear, climbing into the well, Never and going after the, the fling sucky guys. I think of Rush he being reckless I think and just it's taking Rushmore. charge as the situation. And the end, he sings a song to Bill Murray. Yeah, take it, well, or to the I, audience. Not taking more charge, less. just taking initiative. I'm pretty sure it's Rushmore. Um, half of that is I mean, uh, just I mean, wanting to, to get things going. The other it. half is Travis's gamer timer going like, I fuck it, I'm doing something. Um, just really? Yeah. I haven't really known that side of you. Yeah, no, right? <laughs> what if we had a show where people could see? I'm trying to load ga the Game Ranch, the job. The second we went live today, and he blows me up and sends a car <laughs> flying into my face and <laughs> kills me. And while I'm trying, we j literally just went live. Gotta keep it going. Action's uh, gotta be hot. Travis me. as gotta a gamer. Be fire, gotta be hot. Gotta be fire. Dying. I was like back behind. Just. <laughs> the best was that the best was that y'all's the camera was only on you. Yeah. Yeah, so you just got to see him hurling shit towards me on fire. At one point in time, yeah. time, you see cops like kind of pull up uh, to the other side of the frame. I was just trying to lead him behind him. I think I even died and in the background. Like, jumped over a wall I need to know. I need to uh, see. Can we yeah. see this? Is this something I, I can see? I dig everything. Morning, this so episode good. of Game Ranch will be on YouTube. Yeah. You can yeah. watch it. My or, God, what or a mess! Or subscribe and watch the I've VOD. I laughed harder. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, some of it is. Some of it is, and I'm all for being cautious in certain areas. But things where I think it's low danger, even though a lot of our party was tapped and we were on, we were riding the borderline. I was. I, yes, I suppose there's a risk in going like, I'm going to go down to the bottom of the well and make sure that this is actually where we're what we're looking for instead of going and sleeping and recharging everybody and then coming back and finding out that's not actually where it was anyway, mm -hmm. right? Just yeah. just a little closure on things. And then, yeah. I don't know, I think, I think part of it is also, like, I, I really wanna get not to where she needs to go, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and the more time we spend in the city, the more time we're not really, like, doing that, you know? And I know we're trying to be careful, but there was just a part of me that wanted to just push it. Yeah, you know? yeah. I get it, yeah. Henry's doing his and now patrol. He's doing his patrol every, he knows. It's Is the it same like 45 time. Minutes in? It, no, no, it's 57 wait, wait, minutes wait, wait, in. 57? But it's every it's episode around, right yeah. towards the end. He gets up, he walks he to every single patrol. person. Really? And says hi. And they all pet him, and then he walks I, back. I, and I did notice so Henry's been doing that. You know what? 
sometimes the game is like a reflection of your day or your True. week because some days you got to push the little red piece in the stained glass window and send everything into a shit spiral and oh, other days yeah. I'm, I got patience for days I'm good to sit there and eat 12 wintergreen lifesavers it's fine yeah no I mean and all, like this past Thursday's game I saw I saw a lot of like I just saw leading up to the game or I like, just saw oh, my man, sister they're was gonna just be slap happy and giddy cats because like all I'm the pretty sure it's but mint. we were just like going after two mint. like thousand yards stare nuts after yeah. this mint thing. I wonder if that's similar to what he was just saying yeah it's hard to um you know, we try to take time to to cool down a little bit before a game, mm -hmm. but it's hard. Yeah, you know, it's hard sometimes. Yeah. Plus, when the spotlight is on you, right? When the story spotlight oh. is on. Yeah. <sighs> well, yeah, so we're out of time. Are we? But. No, ask number 18. But. Oh wait, hold on. But. Oh, so there is. It is an early. Oh, they're going to have yeah. another after hours, Marisha, but it's a short Borg episode. Gavino wants oh. to know. Was there a temptation to tell Dyron about the beacon? Does Bo not trust Dyron with that information? I forgot uh, about that. Oh, uh, about the beacon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shit. Borg yeah. Bo, Bo is weighing every, all the is information. Is that like Star she Trek has, Borg? Because she knows thing? that it's. Um, Was there a temptation? Valuable. I didn't even Fuck. think of that. Shit balls. That didn't come up at all, yeah. you scandalous little minx. <laughs> Say anything, you but wow. I would never minx. describe Bo as a scandalous yeah, little minx. Yeah, that's a lot. But that's Bo. cool. If this was 1945, Ger. tell her about Ger. the episode of Boardwalk I didn't, Empire. I didn't tell her. <laughs> it's a scandalous little minx. Is she? You see? Come get your papers on the corner. Bo yeah, it's from it's from, it's from Love Actually. Papes. I thought Brian's like foot the was the dog sneaking of, up. Did you, did you just invoke Love Actually? Yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. I okay, before we go you. tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, so we are going to ask some search for grog questions. Oh, See? awesome. Horrible. Horrible. Third week in a row, everybody, that we get no good night from Brian because they jump right into grog. How long did this grog thing go on for? Because this is at least the third week. It might even be longer than that, but I know it's at least three weeks, maybe more. I'm not hating it. I just don't get Brian's good night. I feel like we did in one of the three where he was like, have a good night, stay turned. And then he went into it. I don't know. Maybe not. Either way, we get amazing questions. We get the whole lead up to what happened at the end with not running away. Marisha and Travis were a delight. I guess not really that much has happened, at least in that episode, where it could have pretty much been anybody. I kind of thought it might be Sam, but we just recently had Sam. It makes sense to have these two on because I feel like we have not seen the two of them in the longest, maybe? At least... They haven't been in the last two episodes and you can only rotate people so many times. So I feel like this was a perfect time to have Ford and Bo. Bo was obviously a big part of the most recent arc with Dyron and everything like that. Dyron. I mean, it was good to hear from Travis. Travis has obviously for good reason been not the focus because he was for a while while we did the whole Ukato arc. But it's also, we like, you know, he's been changing. He's been doing different things. We're getting a little feedback. Like, where are you at right now with everything? I said in the last episode, I feel like he's been changing. And I feel like we were tapping into things like that in a positive way. I feel like he is trying to figure out what is going on and prepare for what is maybe to come. But we'll find out. I'm going to jump in to episode 55. We got a part one, part two, and the Patreon hour this week. All three. So they're going to be about 20 minutes each and then the patron hour in the middle i feel like they're actually going to be closer to like 25 30 minutes by the time i do the intro and exit either way you guys want to see more of what i do full unedited episodes all the shows on the channel seasons out of what you're seeing every episode of campaign 2 has the full patron hour exclusive we have vox machina season one and two hundreds of other shows peaky blinders doctor who person of interest just started farscape lex torchwood so many other shows legend of Korra, death note check it out in the link below if not comments down below like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one Peace.